okay guys um welcome back to wireless hacking exposed so guys please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and uh i'll really appreciate it if you suggest any type of video that you what you like me to do on penetration testing cyber security and programming network programming so guys uh, in this tutorial today we'll be looking at the error dump um, engine so i'll be showing you how to capture files to capture wireless traffic using an error dump engine in my previous video i did that showing how to capture file using a wireshark tc dump and error dump engine but i did not go deep in error dump engine so today in this tutorial i'll be going deep into error dump engine so the first thing that you need to do is to open your terminal of course so i'll be working on my um desktop let me just change directory to desktop okay so the first thing that you need to do you need to set your um, wireless card into monitor mode and then you can achieve that by using m1 the tool called m1 engine m1 first of all just check if your card is in master mode monitor mode or minus mode you can achieve that by typing iw config press enter as you can see now my wireless card is in manage mode so what i will do is that um, i will change it in, i will change my wireless card into monitor mode so you have to say m1 start w len 0 specifying the wireless card the wireless interface card that you want to change to monitor mode press enter as you can see after i have done that it tells me that the found two process that could cause trouble kill them by using error dump error m1 check kill so i will do that m1 check kill so this command it will kill processes such as um, network manager um, uh, host paid etc so just press enter in your keyboard so as you can see it killed WPA supplicant, supplicant and also the network manager and it shows you even the process ID of that process okay control L to clear your screen so now we need to check if our card has successfully changed into monitor mode IW config again press enter so as you can see now our WLAN 0 wireless card interface is now changed from manage mode into monitor mode so now which means we are ready to sniff the wireless traffic that is moving in the air okay so the first thing you're gonna do you will have to do is to type a rule dump specify the m to find the manufacturer of the particular router that is used and, and after that you can specify the wireless card interface that is in monitor mode press enter so as you can see immediately when you do that uh, it will show you all of the wireless network wireless access point that are in your local area as you can see you'll see their power rate remember as you can see it says pwr it means power rate the higher the number the far the access point it is the lower the number the near the access point it is as you can see here it says 91 it means that the wireless access point it is from as you can hear you see here it says 44 63 it changes it means that the wireless access point is nearby and then beacons I remember what i said to my previous video i said beacons they fall under what they fall under management frame which management frame is responsible for what for maintaining communication between what between the client and the access point and then here as you can see we have a data frame here and then remember i, I said 
the data frame they carry the actual data sent on the wireless network and they carry the actual data that is sent on the wireless network and then it does not have any um, subtypes so as you can see here this second and then this channel a channel is basically sort of like um, a tunnel on which the access point is running on and here we have the MP and we have here here, here we have uh, the ENC which is the encryption type as you can see the encryption type here is WPA2 of which it is um, considered to be good but can be cracked by um, capturing the handshake we'll discuss that later and then here we have the cipher and then the cipher it's it is a type of encryption that it, it is used the type of algorithm that it is used in order to encrypt this um, WPA2 as you can see the type of algorithm that is used is CCMP in, in my case and here as you can see when the auth the authentication is a PSK and then here we have the ESSID which is what it is a you is this a wireless access point name Please guys, do not forget, do not confuse the ESSID and the BSSID. The BSSID it is the MAC address of the wireless access point. And by the ESSID, it is the name of the wireless access point. And then here, it shows the manufacturer. As you can see, the manufacturer of the first um, wireless access point, it is what? link international this is very very important in the case whereby you want to do some social engineering to your uh, target uh, wireless uh, access point you can easily fool them by creating a fishing page that it has um, a login a login screen that looks like a t-link international or a router bot router bot um, manufacturer so if you come down here you can see that we have uh, the PSSID this PSSID that will appear here are the same PSSID that will appear on the on the on our first top screen so in this case it says uh, PSSID not associated it means that there is no um, a client that is connected to this wireless access point uh, and then here it says station where it says station station are the clients that are connected to the wireless access point as you can see here it says station all of these clients are those people who have left their um, wireless um, wireless interface on on the uh, mobile devices laptop etc so this is the danger of leaving your wireless uh, wireless leaving your uh, wireless uh, access device on on your um, on your phone laptop etc because of um, an attacker can simply see your MAC address etc and then they can use that to do some other malicious type of attack and then here you can see it says power and then the power remember is going to be the distance between the client and the wireless access point here it shows you the rate here it shows you the um, um, the lost frame here shows you the lost and here shows you the frame and then here when it says the prompt remember every time when you say prompt remember it's type of what of the as part of the management frame and all of this are the wireless access point that those clients here have connected to for example the first client here was um, let me just highlight this the first client here was connected before to this wireless access point which is what p415 and then as you can see here this client was connected to mtn cell c wireless access point so if you move down here you can see instead of having not associated i have um, the bssid of the wireless access point and then it is associ associated with one uh, wireless device that is connected to so 
this is these guys so let me show you if you want to capture to save the file on the on the if you want to save the captured file this uh, wireless interface how can you go about doing that let me just control c so first of all you'll have to select your target network for example let me say i want to capture the traffic i want to capture packets that i'm moving on this uh, wireless access point i'll select the bssid and then i'll check which channel is running at control c i'll say arrow dump arrow dump okay arrow arrow dump ng um dash dash b s s i d i'll specify the p s s i d that i want to sniff traffic from meaning the mac address of the wireless access point and i will say ch i'll say dash c to specify the channel it was running on channel 5 and i will say uh, dash w to capture a file i'll call my file test dot uh, p p cap and then after that you need to specify the wireless interface that is your wireless card interface that is in monitor mode then you'll say w len zero mon and then you press enter so as you can see it will take some time uh, by the time you know it you'll see some traffic moving on here the reason why it will take some time it is because in the target wireless access point client it was um, far so we we'll need to wait for some minute oh you know what let me just change to another wireless um, access okay it's fine it is working guys i was thinking of changing so as you can see it will show you the wireless as you can see now it is going to it will be capturing the packets from this uh, target wireless uh, access point show the power rate etc the ESSI team so down here it will show all of, all of the connected clients so you can just wait for a little bit um, okay guys I think I can end this video here so that I cannot prolong it but uh, in your case everything will work fine etc okay thank you guys Please do not forget to like, subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'll cancel this.